Recently, Blackboard underwent a system update. You may have noticed that with the update came changes to the built-in text editor. While most functions are still available, the look and feel is a bit different, so let's dig into some of these changes. Today, in this tutorial, I'm going to go through how you can grab an image from the web and copy and paste it into an item or a folder um, or whatever type of content you're building right within Blackboard. So if you haven't already got your item set up, you would do that the same way you always have. Hover over the build content area and then select what you would like to build. So you have options, you can create an item, a content folder, um, a learning module, anything that you're creating. I've already got my item set up here that I'm going to use for demonstration purposes. So I'm just going to come to the item, click on the arrow next to it and select edit. Now I have to wait for my text editor to load. All right. Next step is to go and grab the image that I want to insert into the item. The key here is I used to be able to find the images like this, search for the images like this, and just click on it from here and say copy image and then paste it into the item. If I do it this way, I'm going to get an error message. So the key is really you must click on the actual picture to kind of get it to come into this preview window. From here, if you do a right click on the image, you have the same option here, copy image. Now that we've copied it, we're going to bring it back over to our item in Blackboard. Put your cursor in the text editor, and then it's just the function of Command V to paste it in. You get the option to either remove the formatting or keep the formatting, totally up to you. I'll keep the formatting for this one. And now I've got the image inserted right into the item built in Blackboard. Now I want to resize this image. If I do a right click on the picture, I get my box around it, so now I can click and drag the corners. I also have the option, if I would want to, to click on that image button and manually change the width and the height of the image. So go ahead and save that. I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller and then I'm going to repeat the process just so we can see it um, a couple of times. Again, my cursor is already in the item here. I'm going to get over to my Google search. I'm going to click on the next image that I want. It comes over here in the preview window, right click on there, copy the image, and then next I'm navigating back to my item, Command V. This one I'll remove the formatting, and now I can click on the image and resize it. I'm going to do one more. Preview window, right click, copy image, and then bring it back over to Blackboard. Put your cursor in there, Command V, and there we are. Now I can resize this image by clicking on it, either in the image click or just by using the blue box to click and drag. I also have the option now that I've inserted these images from the web to add text. And that's pretty much it. Once I'm finished adding text and resizing my image, I submit, and just like it always has, the images that I grabbed from the web will show up in the item.